This is Cytoscape 371, and I'm going to demonstrate the identifier mapping capabilities built into Cytoscape. Let's start with the yeast perturbation sample session file. It comes with yeast ORF IDs in the name column. For ID mapping, you simply right click on the header of any column of IDs, choose map column, and you'll bring up the ID mapping dialog. Choose the correct species yeast, the correct mapping ID from, and mapping ID to. Um, in this case, ensemble is correct, and we'll go ahead and choose entree gene IDs. Here are some of the other options that come built into Cytoscape. Click OK, and you'll get a summary of how many identifiers were mapped and how many one-to-many mappings there were, including the range of one-to-many mappings. Click OK, scroll to the right, and you'll see a new column of entree gene IDs. If you're concerned about those many-to-one mappings, you can repeat the mapping, but this time deselect force single, and it'll return a list of entree gene IDs uh, for each ensemble source. Click OK, same result, summary, Scroll to the right, and you'll have a second column of entree gene ID lists. Most of these are single, but if you scroll through these, you'll find a couple cases where there's more than one possible entree gene representing that ensemble yeast ORF ID. Let's take another example. Um, we'll use the string app uh, to query for breast cancer and bring in 100 nodes associated with breast cancer in a protein-protein interaction network. String provides uniprot IDs on these proteins. You can, if you're interested in gene identifiers, you can use the ID mapping tool to again right-click on the column header, choose map column, choose the correct species. And then this time we're going from uniprot IDs to ensemble H, G, and C symbols, entree, whatever we want. Let's go ahead and pick ensemble. Click OK. Again, we'll get a summary. Click OK. Scroll to the right. And now we have gene identifiers from ensemble associated with the original protein identifiers from Uniprot. Click 